Oh, I said I'll get some big fish on this combo. Holy shit. And it bricked me. No, it's on there. Big head shakes. Oh, wow. Big fish. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode. Come down again on this glassed out morning at my Ponga Reservoir chasing big fish. As I talk, try and talk a little bit quietly, I've just noticed some surface action already. The sun hasn't got high enough in the uh, in the sky, so this is all going to be shadowed out for a couple of hours. And it's looking active. And we're chasing big fish today. Got the big plastic on. It's called the Trick Swim. Starting off in motor oil colour. I haven't got many colours in the bag. Got a 1 8 ounce jig head. I think it's a size 2, maybe a size 4 hook. It's an extensive size hook. We've got rigged up on that particular jig head. Now, I've got the... Uh, <coughs> what have we got here? That's upside down. Hang on, let's have a look. I've got the specs on this rod. It's the TD Black Wild Weasel. It's a 2 to 6 kilo. So we're going the uh, medium to light setup. We've got the two and a half thousand size saltist. It's the old range. This particular reel is bigger than what you suspect. It's a two and a half thousand size, but it seems like a. It's almost close to a um, three or four thousand. And once again, the water levels dropped again. So this is going to make things even easier to get to that drop off I was talking about in last time, last episode. And you can already see that piece of timber up there is, is way out of the water now. That was almost underwater before. Right, so let's try our first cast. There's not, no, not as much slime on this corner, so we'll cast it. Go right out in the corner there. Clear some debris in a minute. Look, with a heavier line, 15 pound liter, uh, 15 pound braid, 10 pound liter, trying to keep it spook free. See how you get on. First cast of the morning. Let's get that line wet. <clears throat> yeah, so targeting big fish today. I don't want any red fin. I just got this trick swim on. It's got a paddle tail. It's also got that grub looking body as well. But yeah, they're going to be a little bit spookier today, being sunny. But I'm not putting the grub on. I'm going to be sticking with these. You even got some massive curl tails in the bag as well. See if we can get a PB today, or well, this morning anyhow. Warms up today, so won't be out here too long. First one. I don't think it's a colour. I reckon that's a red thing. Now with the 15 pound braid and 10 pound litre, not easy to bring in. First one on the board. Here we have it. First one on the board, little ready. That's already hell. Jeepers. Don't know what that was. Had a few goes. Big plastic, so I should be able to only hook big fish, but that defeated that and the last fish I caught. <laughs> Let's see. There's a lot of surface action too. It's lively this morning. 
because the pedal tail has got a bit of action all I'm doing is really slow winding this lure now I'm not letting it hit the bottom like the grub I'm just as soon as it hits the water just reeling in and pulsing the rod almost mid mid level range because there's a bit of action on the surface now, I wasn't happy with that my royal colour so I've gone into the bait junkie range and I've gone the mud blood that's pretty similar to that watermelon sort of red type looking colour so it's the colour that works so we'll see if having a bigger profile we get some bigger fish <clears throat> Let's see if it was a colour choice straight away change colour and not it's only a ready but it's been a while since I had a hit probably about I mean when I mean a while it's been about 12 casts I wasn't usually get a little bit more commitment in the morning it's another little ready Just already. Well, it might be. It's hard to tell at the moment because it's. Oh, good ready, T. Bloody hell. Do this one of the day. Even though it's only just started. There we go. Nice one to start. It is knocked out, but it's just got a bit of nerves there, that's all. Look at that beautiful one. Doesn't have the stripes on it as extensively as the others. Another good size ready, I reckon. It's hard to tell with this rod. I'm not used to catching. I've got a bigger setup now, so it's going to take me a while to work out what fish they are. While well, it's darting around, the trouble is there's more slime. Oh, that's no, a yellow. Nice. Well, first one on the board, <clears throat> nice little one, take a photo, not sure it's worth measuring. Oh yeah, first one, putting it around, it's a lean one, so it's probably only around 36 centimetres. It's not in the 40s, put it that way. 36 centimetres, see you later, there it is, cruising off, nice. What a start. Nice one. That's promising. Switch plastic's gone there. I mean, it hasn't got me the bigger one. It's definitely got me cruising around on the board now. So that makes it uh, three red fin, one colour. This spot of mine. That bloody fish in that bag's driving me nuts. I've knocked it out about six times. Still jumping around. I couldn't use these bloody fish creeps, I don't think they're very good for callop. They're right for the, these particular ones, might be right when I get a cod. Um, but I don't think it'll be any good for a callop.
That's a decent callop. Oh, I said I'll get some big fish on this combo. Holy shit. And it bricked me. No, it's on there. Big head shapes. Oh, wow. Big fish. Oh, what could this be? This is big. Man, I've got a two to six kilo rod and it feels huge. It's tail wrapped me, I think. Ah, come on. Shit. Big. Uh oh. That weed on the line's a bit of a worry. Oh, maybe. Oh, we'll have a look. Don't know if it's a PB yet. No, it's just a bit of emphasize with the weed it's not as big as I thought where it is there before it clicks around and gets dirty it's hooked really well there we have it nice one put on the brag let's see how big it is and it's 42 and a half second one of the day Bigger plastic still on it. That's good to know because it gave me that extra oomph to get it in. It's great. Just have to get rid of all this afterwards, that's all. ready I reckon. Far too small to be anything else. That's small. Let's put it straight on the mat and get my hydrometer in there. Oh it's 23, it's only small. Another one, a little bit pale. Not many lines on these ones this morning. Right. Oh, I'm walking to this other spot. It's probably pointless casting in the middle of the sun. Trying to get my way over. And I'll go up here. I'll walk all the way to the other end of the reservoir. I'm feeling good today, so. Since we're back at the original spot, I'm going to go the original plastics as well. Put the mud crab, mud blood on back on. Right, junkie. Let's see if they're out to play. Oh, the sun's up. I doubt it, though. Yeah, I reckon that's all over, Red Rover. Once the sun comes out they move out, I reckon they start, they move out into the deep water and first thing in the morning you can work these banks and it's absolutely beautiful in the morning so I might leave things there there's a sharp, short, shiny 
session. Caught a whole heap of uh, another half a bag of redfin and those few, I think I've got a few callop. Can't remember if I've got two or three, but I'll find out when I edit the video. But uh, yeah, so I had some callop on the board anyway. Nothing, no PBs. The biggest was 42.5. So until next time, see you in the next one.